Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. I've just got back from lifting a washing machine. Don't I feel strong? And yeah, unfortunately watched a little bit of uh, England playing the Euros. And learning today that one of the streamers that you liked for a long time turns out to be a massive... Uh, I don't know. It's been one of these days, isn't it? I think it's been one of these crazy days uh, for many different reasons. But I want to do a quick video. Uh, I've got to record the MCN before going to bed. And I've got to get a bed as soon as possible. Uh, victory track. Matchmaking. Uh, I know a lot of people have been talking about it. We've been talking about it on the channel. Uh, you've been experiencing some things. And as well, um, this is something that Kabam have uh, been talking about. So let's get into it. Let's react to some stuff. Talk about some things. Let's go. So Kabam say, with the release of Battleground Season 19, there have been a number of changes to the matching matchmaking parameters of Victory Tracks. Specifically, uh, we typically refrain from going into detail for changes pertaining to matching matchmaking. However, you want to provide some context about these specific matchmaking changes. If you've been living under a rock the last week, um, it has been the last week, you may have found that like lower end people um, are matching up um, against a lot of higher accounts. And I don't know if this is the cadence the Kabam are doing. There is uh, a lot to be said about this because I know a lot of people are going to be very frustrated about any kind of change to this. Previously, until someone has reached platinum account, uh, strength was one of the primary factors in matching matchmaking this resulted in summoners with stronger accounts matchmaking accounts uh, matching accounts of a similar power causing less powerful accounts to ultimately climb faster uh, with less difficulty we felt that this was unintentionally punishing summoners with better rosters thus hindering them from progressing in the early ranks of victory track it also came with the added knock-on effect for less powerful accounts hitting a wall in Platinum when these parameters suddenly changed. Moving forward, account strength has been removed as a matchmaking parameter. The transition to this new system will require a, a few seasons for ranks to begin to normalize. We are aware this will result in growing pains uh, short, for a short period. However, long term, uh, this will allow a more consistent balanced experience during uh, your victory track climb. Uh, let's break some of the stuff down because it's not kind of like there's there's a bit there's a bit more to this. Let me say this has just gone live. I want to get this video out as soon as possible, especially because you've been seeing a lot of issues. I can't show you my screen because for whatever reason something's not working with it. But a lot of the accounts I'm seeing are very low accounts who I'm matching against. That's of course allowing me to climb. Now, if there was a case that I would have to. I'd say several months ago when I was doing battlegrounds, like I would, I'd say getting out of silver, getting out of gold, it was just so much of a slog because who I was pairing up against, um, were we equally matched? I matched. I don't know. Like this is the problem with it. Like I, as much as I go, hey, great, I've got three rank three seven stars. It doesn't mean to say that I won't face off against somebody who is, what, has all the latest champions, has them at higher rank, and therefore because I don't. Number one, I've not experienced going up against, say, Arcade because he's not in a featured. Uh, and as well, I can't get a seven-star rank three Arcade. Uh, therefore, am I at a disadvantage of facing off against that because I don't have a decent enough counter? Those kind of scenarios, but it's not it's not limited to that. I'm just trying to find an example of, you know, what I experienced in the past. But of course, Kabam have seen something similar to what I've experienced and gone, do you know what? People like Rich, people like someone else, someone else, someone else, someone else, someone else is having an issue with not being able to make gains and it seems a bit illogical because they're not meant to and we kind of feel like they should be making those gains against somebody that's say a lot lower but is able to make further gains because they're getting exclusive matchmaking it's okay okay i know i'll give you a really better example so m's account has just started or was done battlegrounds well if the account was to do battlegrounds her account has more seven stars than the quintessential person at cavalier she has higher ranked champions, and again, a lot of people, quintessential people in Cavalier. She also has uncollected for a time, had better champions, again, people that had uncollected. So if she was going to play Battlegrounds, she would have stomped on people who just didn't have, had four stars and five stars based on these kind of premium base, uh, this different matchmaking scenario. Sorry, I might have gone off on a tangent then. Let's bring it back to this. Again, going back to this, Kabam say account strength was one of the primary factors in matchmaking. This resulted in summoners with stronger accounts, matching accounts 
of a similar power, causing less powerful accounts to ultimately climb faster with the less difficulty. So with this one, this again is, I suppose it's difficult to, to kind of go, <sighs> pay to win players may get more of an advantage in this particular uh, new setup. Ah, uh, I, I wanna loosely make that point. I need to fully justify it. It's always a very difficult one to say that, that if you had spent a lot of money on your account in order to get a lot of very powerful champions, very newer champions, as we just said a moment ago, uh, but also kind of easy access to rank up resources, then of course you're gonna make further, you can have stronger champions to then stomp on your enemies. And that is something that of course will be uh, a difficulty uh, with this one. But again, like this is the problem. You have to see it from both sides and go, well, should a Valiant player that's, of course, worked on the roster, maybe it's not fully stretched out and spread to a higher degree, should they be not making gains against somebody that, say, uh, Cavalier, uncollected, like uncollected Cavalier, Thronebreaker, should they, therefore, be able to make better gains, more easier gains, uh, than, of course, the Valiant player? And again, that's that's the difficulty, isn't it? It's like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't to make any kind of like rationale around what is a decent structure for battlegrounds as to, you know, should should bigger accounts be able to easily stamp on them. There is the positive side of things and that is, well, if these bigger accounts have done the stomping for the first, say, two weeks of a battlegrounds and they've buggered off. If they've buggered off, then they're not as high up. And if they're not as high up, then guess what? The it kind of balances out. So there is, and there are kind of pluses and minuses to a change like this. I actually think Kabam had this as a as a structure from the very beginning, and I kind of feel it might have worked. Now I can't remember what happened last year. I, I can't remember a lot of stuff that happens in game um, that happened about a month ago. It seems like that's kind of like everything's in the past. To then go, did it work? Uh, the only only way that we'll know this will work is to kind of like delve into it and go, hey, we've given this a try. Um, it's worked. A lot of people are saying, you know, get involved with it in two weeks' time. That used to be a big thing, and then it kind of went away that people would go, hey, get involved with Battlegrounds two weeks in, and you might have a better time to kind of make gains. That could be ultimately it. Uh, definitely from my, my own perspective, as I've kind of like played through this time, and I've wondered this, and I did actually theorize, if you remember the video that we did on Friday, and as well the video I, that we did on Monday, the MCN, I did say there is a chance that this might be the new matchmaking system, which, again, is beneficial to, for, for some, but not beneficial for others. So Kabam as well, they said, we felt that this was unintentionally punishing uh, summoners with better rosters, thus hindering them from progressing in the early ranks of victory track. And that may be something, again, that, and as Kabam say, it, uh, it also came with the added knock-on effect uh, for less powerful accounts hitting a wall in Platinum when these parameters suddenly change. And again, I don't know if Kabam, and um, we did talk about the idea of Everybody having this opportunity, like the bigger accounts, having this opportunity to make the push and gain to Gladiator Circuit. Now, if you've got more bigger accounts in Gladiator Circuit, they don't come down quite as far to say something like Platinum and or whatever it is, you know, when they do the, the, the victory seeding. Then, of course, the bigger accounts are fighting it out in order to get into Gladiator Circuit again for the following month. Therefore, mis meaning, meaning that the lesser accounts are able to, when they come back in again, they're able to fight back up, wait for the bigger accounts to have that two week of the month kind of shift up the gladiator circuit, meaning the rest of them can start to make further progress up the ladder. And I don't know if that's the algorithm. I don't know if that's what Kabam have put in place for this one. It's just up to us to theorize what we feel Kabam have, have done with this in order to make this better and well. And of course, this is going to be something that, as Kabam say, moving forward, account strength has been removed as a matchmaking parameter. The transition to this new system will require a few seasons um, for ranks to begin to normalize. We are aware this will result in growing pains for a short period of time. However, long term, this will allow a more consistent and balanced experience during a victory track climb. Hey, put in the comment section how you feel about this one. I can figure out what's the best kind of like point or opinion to have on this because there are so many 
but also there's stuff in the background. In the first instance, it's gonna it, it looks it looks bad, right? It does look bad. It looks like if you've got a big roster and you've got a pay to win, um, you've got you yeah you've pay to win. You've got a big roster as a result of that. Then you're able to stomp on smaller accounts. It does seem like like valiant players and people that have built their accounts are able to stomp on other players. But at the same time. By doing that and how it normalizes, so we get everybody out and we get everybody that's got a big account to Gladiator Circuit, then we're able to see that victory seeding normalize back into the season by season elements. So, therefore, the smaller accounts, the uncollected, your paragons, your whatever it is, uh, your cavaliers are fighting out at the lower ends, making those gains up and not being impeded by bigger accounts in theory. So there's a lot of things to think about with this one, and it's definitely warped my tiny little mind um, on a Tuesday night where I've got to get to bed in a minute. But what are your thoughts? But I mean, look comments. There's a lot of pointing as I do this and that. And have a great evening, whatever you're doing. Cheers, Charles, and check out some other content. Um, bye for now.